Hello everyone, today we will continue with the bed, preparing the bed. So I'm using fabric to protect the aluminum sheet. This bed has not hole for earth connection and thermal fuse, so I need to drill and tap these. So for that, first of all, I draw where the silicone heat is will be set, so it will be approximately like that. And this two screw is the back side, so in here. So in this part, I need to drill and tap two holes, one for the earth connection, one for the uh, one for the thermal fuse. I don't have the puncher, so I we need to punch a point in here. So with that the drill will not move around. So I don't have it, so I will use a, a screw with the sharp pointy one. With the nail I will create a punch. Now they have the points with that drill will not circle around. So it will help us while drilling. I will measure my drill with M3 by 6. So this is the shortest one I have. So with that I will know that how much I need to go deeper. Actually yeah, this six this is six millimeters. It should be shorter. Double D forty help we will try to drill first of all your drill needs to be perpendicular to the cast the aluminium I mean and don't go fast just go with slow and if you can clap the this one I also clamp this one so it will not rotate. I drilled with the 2.5 drill bits then after that I thread them with the M3 screw the thing is I have a tapping tool but I don't know I cannot use it in the these places for example for if there is a hole like that I can thread it because I did in the V2 I extend the thread on the V2 on the frames these were, sh these were short but when it's the flat surface and you are opening just a bit I and I couldn't thread with the tool so I I use the M3 bolt itself to thread the uh, holes if you do the same thing use longer screw long screws so for the thermal fuse it is rigid it's okay but for here since the thickness is 6 mm and they are using M M3 by 6 so which means the small screw that I have is uh, with the same length of the bed but I don't want to go through all the beds so what will I do I just thread right now it's holding but, but it's not holding this so what I will do I will just put shims between the screw and the this thing and it between the screw and the, this thing and it will hold in its place 
because yeah if you have shorter screw that will work better of course I'm not sure but I think you can also put the this terminal to one of the bed screw since this is this there will be spring also so you can adjust the heightness of the corner and you can use the RTV to put the thermic fuse but be careful don't put a uh, the RTV spring between this thermic fuse and the place itself just put this one and put your RTV on top of it because the RTV is very poor for the uh, conducting heat so that's not good thing so you want to the back place of this thermic fuse touch this part should touch the target so yeah but I like this way more so I drilled and tapped too yeah, if I can find shorter screw maybe I will replace this one otherwise I will use shim like I said mm. it's just the screw is just holding now I will put the magnetic sheet first, so it is exact same length, so we need to be careful that it's staying the right place. Place. I will clean the surface with isopropyl alcohol. I will use my heat gun to get rid of the, the small particles of the towel and paper towel and give a little bit heat on it. apply the magnetic sheet so what you need to do peel a little bit of it first like this and then stick the first part carefully from middle to sides give it pressure it seems it is sitting nicely on my plate so now with the Yeah, again I will peel off a little bit, not that much, so first I'm sticking the middle part, then sides. And it goes on like that till the ends. Yep. Yep. Later on, we need to drill these holes. Yeah, actually, let me drill it. We need to open these screw holes on the magnetic shield. The drill bit and with my hand I drilled it now I need to clean the corners yeah so this screw should go to the most down and our plate can stick again so as you can see I'm not bad at these things it's not a perfect circle but yeah I will live with that so I found a way if you see the old one this is the new way to show you again we are starting with the small drill bit to from the back I'm just may, uh, with my hand I'm just drilling the magnetic sheet I'm just pushing from the other side so this this part will not go inside the uh, hole and after that I'm taking the big drill bit which is the which can fit the hole and from the front side I am expanding the hole again I'm doing it with my hand take the excess now I take the with a little bit pressure now it's in place and it is cleaner 
than this. And we need to clean and place our silicone mat. So our aluminum bed is 120 in each side and our heat mat is 100 in each side. So that means there should be 10 millimeter uh, it should be placed on off 10 millimeter offset so i will mark mark it with my pencil so this corner will sit in here this corner will sit in here so it will be roughly in center it's clean now again i will do the same thing with the magnetic sheet i will peel off a little bit Yep, and can clean our marks. I'm using pencil because it's easy to remove, easy to clean. bed is kind of ready yeah. this will be sticking a bit outside but it's okay because it's, it's more than 10 millimeter I guess yeah it's 11 millimeter so we have only 10 millimeter gap in here so it's sticking a little bit but like I said that's okay now we need to put weight on it and wait 24 hours so for that I will use the, these fabrics to not damage the heat mat or something this part are sticking a little, little bit so I will put like a support so I will put a, one small piece of wood on top of it and add weight and I will wait 24 hours to cure the their sticker and 24 hours later we will apply our TV this is the left one from the V2 but it's not enough I guess I already ordered one so yeah let's wait 24 hours and later on we will continue I have waited 24 hours now it seems fine so now I will try to apply RTV. So first I will put the masking tape. I have also covered the holes because we will use that part. I will leave only a half a millimeter or a millimeter space in here. And here. So, yeah, that should be it. I'm only leaving exposed where I want to apply the RTV worst part because yeah worst part is applying it because it's, it smells bad that's why no it smells terrible So now we will wait another 24 hour to cure it. 
So it's the I just put the RTV and with this one spatula, this one just do without giving the pressure, just give it one pass and it's okay. Give up one pass, that's okay. Yeah. Like I said, we need to wait another 24 hours to cure the RTV. Then after that, we will put the bed on the frame. So see you in a day. It's been 24 hours after uh, I applied RTV. So I also put the I also connected a thermic fuse. So what I did, I just opened this sleeve a bit and uh, cut the one of the wire and connected this uh, serial but since this bed is not that much thick as you remember the m3 by 6 was barely enough for the thermic fuse to connect it so i also want to put shim on it because the hole is it's nearly like in the Pose diameter is nearly equal with the screw set. So I used M3 by 8 instead of M3 by 6, but used also three shims. It is the and this is M3 by 6 for the earth connection, but still same story. So what I did, I put one, I put one hex nut and two shim, and after that I connected this. Now both of them are secure. I have also used thermal compound on the, this one so which this one is actually basically filling the micro empty space on the surface of the these two and giving a better heat conductivity it's totally not necessary i just have it and i used it it's really hard on the work on this bed since it's very small and it's uh, thinner visually it's not nice but it will do the job and it will not be seen so I'm okay with it to put this on the V0 first we will secure the screws with the lock nut, lock nut we will tighten them the, till the end after that we will put the spring and with that we will connect it to bed frame 